What's up guys, so today I've got a tutorial on how to create this kind of interface orb. You can use it for your social media icons or your interfaces or kind of like video borders, pretty much anything you want really. So I'm going to be showing you how to create this now in your Photoshop. So you want to just open up Photoshop. And you want to create a new file. And then you want to select the ellipse tool and you want to make it like a light grey. And then whilst holding down the shift key to make sure it stays circular, just drag out your circle. Once that's done, just right click on the layer and rasterize the layer. Once that's done, you want to press control and click on the little thumbnail here so your item selects. Then you want to go to your gradient, make sure, it, make sure it's on radial and you want to change your colour to white. Now when it's on white, you want to just drag it in from the top left and change it to a dark grey and drag it in from the bottom right. So once that's done, you want to just go to select and deselect and then you want to duplicate the layer. Once you've duplicated the layer, press Ctrl and T to resize the second circle and just resize it slightly so it's like a second circle on top of your previous. Now you won't be able to see this very well in the tutorial I don't think but when you do it just make it a tiny bit smaller and then you want to go to edit transform and flip vertical so there you go you'll see this once you've done it so you've got the light here with the darker underneath and the darker bottom here with the lighter on top <laughs> When you've done that, you want to go on your ellipse tool again and select the colour that you want to make your icon. So if you're using Facebook, you're going to be using blues and other things like that. So then you want to make another sphere or another circle and you want to just put that in there like that. Now, just this build up of layers creates this kind of 3D icon. This looks really nice. And whilst you're on your sphere, you want to just press Ctrl and click on the layer to select it. And then again, you want to use your gradient tool using white and drag it in from the top of your circle. And at the bottom, you want to make it like a darker blue and drag that up, upwards like so. And once that's done, you're going to want to create another ellipse, this time a white ellipse. And you're going to want to make, make it oval over the top of your uh, blue sphere, blue circle, sorry. Then you want to rasterize the layer and create a clipping mask. Once you've done that, you'll see it's just above the blue circle and not above the other layers. Then you want to decrease the opacity so it looks like a gloss. And you want to use your eraser tool and just, whilst holding down shift, rub out the bottom here. So that gives it this nice kind of gloss, which looks really nice. Now once you've done that, you want to go back to your original circle and give it a drop shadow and an inner shadow, like so. You may also want to give it a pattern overlay. Now I've used the uh, grayscale paper, and you can just select any of these really, and it gives it quite a nice texture. Change the opacity just to make it a bit lighter, and that's that. And then in your second sphere here, second circle, sorry, you can add an outer glow if you like. What did I add last time? I think I added a slight drop shadow. No, I didn't, sorry. You want to add that onto the blue circle, my mistake. You want to add an inner shadow. Just to make it look a bit more glossy. That looks really nice. So there you go, it creates this nice glossy kind of orb. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Stay subscribed. I'll be making some more kind of interface tutorials. My next tutorial is going to be like a taskbar thing, which looks really nice. Uh, I've been using those on my recent few backgrounds, this taskbar kind of look. Um, yeah, so stay subscribed, they'll be making some more interface tutorials. Give this video a like, 
Also, if you'd like to comment in the section below, some other tutorial ideas you might want me to do. I'm a bit stuck for ideas at the moment, had a lot going on, school, uni prep, that kind of thing. So let me know, and that'll be great. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Yes.